Hi, I'm John from Northwick. I'm an engineer by trade and I'm just going to show you how to do a harness test using a multimeter. Uh, this is useful for testing cables or wiring harnesses on machines where you can't happen to see the entire cable. I appreciate on this one you can see the cable and if you can then a visual check is great. Uh, if you can't do a visual check because you can't reach the cable or it's difficult to unthread it and thread it back in um, and you, you can only see the two ends such as these then you can test it with a multimeter and there's three tests that you do so I'll show you those three tests. This is a regular multimeter uh, it's the sort of thing you might uh, pick up in a hardware shop and I'm going to set it to its continuity setting which is here where we've got the beeper and we'll turn it on. So on this one when the probes are not connected so the, my black and red probes here when they're not connected it says OL or out of limits and when I connect the probes together it beeps which you can probably hear and it also shows zero on the display so when I open the connections it goes to OL or out of limits and when I hold the connectors together it goes to zero so you need a meter that does that then we're going to that's called continuity what we're going to do is check the continuity of the two wires so the first test is we take our first connector which in my case is the pink wire here and I'm going to put my black probe onto that it could, I can choose either probe but I'm going to use the black one and I'm going to make sure that the silver contact of the probe is making contact with the uh, silver part of the connector it's really important that you get the metal to metal connection if you don't get that you'll get a false test so put that on there and hold it on if you can't do it this yourself because I appreciate the two ends of these connectors in reality might be at opposite ends of the machine. Uh, you might need to get someone to give you a, a hand with this. And I'm going to pick up the pink connector, the pink wire in the other connector here, and I'm just going to put my red probe onto the metal part of the connector, and my meter beeps and it goes to zero. That tells me that the pink wire is connected, in other words, it's continuous, and that's a pass. If I were to do that test and the meter stayed at OL, out of limits, then that means that there's a break in the wire somewhere and it's a fail. So to do the continuity on all these wires, all you do is move your probe to the next one. In my case here, it is a yellow wire. And this time I'm just going to put the red on there because it doesn't matter. In my other connector, I'll find the yellow wire, put the probe on. Whoops, let's get that held on. And the meter beeps and goes to zero. That tells me the yellow wire is connected and so on. You work through all of these wires sequentially and look for the meter to beep. So that's your continuity test, that's the first test. The second test is we're looking for a short circuit or a crush. In other words, part of this connector in the machine might be actually crushed against the frame or it might be snagged and you've actually got connectors, you've actually got wires which are electrically connected to one another when they shouldn't be. Uh, and the way to check for that is very similar. You pick your first wire, in my case it's pink. And I'm going to hold that on there, if I can. There we are. I'm going to pick up the pink again, just, which is my continuity check, if you remember. It's the same test as before. But this time I'm just going to hold the black wire, black probe in the same position while I move the red wire into the other terminals. And for a pass, I don't expect my meter to beep. In other words, I only expect to get continuity between the two pinks and not between any other colour. If I did, it would mean that the pink wire was actually crushed and shorted out against one of the other wires, which, which you don't want. Uh, so that would be a fail. So after you've done the pink one, you then move to the next one. In my case it's yellow. Pick up the yellow wire and again move through sequentially each one. You've already done the pink, so you've got one less. Move next to the next one, which is white in my case. Hold it on there, pick up the white, and move through the rest, just like that. So you can see as you go through the test, you end up with less connections to test, and so on. Just work all the way through. And you should only the meter should only beep when you're testing the same colour. Okay, so that's the second test. That's testing for a short circuit. The third and final test is you're actually checking that these wires are not shorted to earth or the frame of the machine. Um, this harness would normally be connected inside a machine somewhere and the machine's normally made of metal and it's quite common for 
when those metal parts are assembled for the metal parts to snag against the wiring cable and it can make a cut and cut through the insulation and actually start to short out or make an electrical connection with the wires that are inside here. So that's the test we're looking for. So the first thing we need to do is find a good earth on the, on the frame of the machine. You can't use a painted surface, you have to find bare metal. So you take one of the probes, any one of the probes, and if necessary, just scrape away some of the paint or if there's, if there's a rusty, corroded patch, scrape away that corrosion. Get to bare metal. It's really important that you get to bare metal and hold the probe onto bare metal when you find it. Uh, for the purpose of this test, I'm going to use my green and yellow wire. These would normally be connected to the frame of the machine, were a machine here. So I'm just going to hold that onto my earth to simulate the metal framework of the machine. So you need to use your imagination for that for this test. Then. My other probe, uh, it can be either, it doesn't, you don't have to use the red on, onto the frame, you could use the black, it really doesn't matter. Um, but then pick either end of your connector, because you've already established a continuity, so you can treat these connectors as being one of the same, so it doesn't matter which end you choose. But basically just touch the metal part of the probe onto the metal part of the connector, and work through, and what you're looking for is any wires that beep. If they beep it means that electrically that wire is connected to the frame of the machine which is normally bad news. There's only one exception to that in which case uh, on mine here I've actually got a green and a yellow wire which is the earth wire and of course that is connected because it's supposed to be. So that's your third and final test. So those are the three tests. If you do those three tests, you will thoroughly electrically test your wiring cable. So just to recap that, if you've got continuity, where you pick one, one colour, you pick the opposing colour, and you connect it, and the meter should beep. That's continuity to see that the wire is connected. The second test is uh, to see if you've got any wires that are shorted together, because it's perhaps crushed. So, for example, you might have the pink and the yellow wire actually crushed and shortened together electrically, uh, which is undesirable. And the way you test that is hold your probe onto the pink, find the pink in your other connector, you've got your continuity, and then move through. And you don't expect to get a beep in any other position other than the pink. And then the third test, it's the condition where... Uh, the harness is actually shorted to the metal work or the frame of the machine. So you get one probe, it could be either probe, you scrape it against the metal work of the machine till you find bare metal. So scrape away a little bit of paint, scrape away a little bit of rust, hold it on the bare metal, and then take your other probe and then just dab it onto the metal terminals, the metal connections. And you shouldn't get any of those wires except for the earth wire perhaps, if it's there, uh, you shouldn't get any response from the meter at all. And if you get that, then you know your wiring harness is good, uh, in which case you can move on to diagnosing another component in the system. So I appreciate that's quite a, that may be a, seem a sort of difficult test to do if you've never done that before, but um, it's, it's quite straightforward once you've done it and once you've got the hang of it, it, it's pretty straightforward. But if you do have any questions, please give me a call at Northwick. I'll be more than happy to assist. Thank you.